finally tonight our persons of the week what is more important than exciting young minds making kids want to be smarter deborah roberts tells us about an expert who thinks he cracked the code of what makes a great teacher and tonight some of those teachers show us what a day with them can be boys and girls the secret is that this is not an ordinary classroom if this seems more secret clubhouse than third grade reading class, you just made teacher Justin Melly's day. What's the smart student attitude? Work hard, get smart. <laughs> Excitement's part of the lesson in his Houston classroom. Legendary. Legendary. <laughs> the same is true in Mariel Elguero's fifth grade class in Newark, New Jersey. Sometimes my little sister likes to imitate me. Today, the kids are grasping the word imitate. With their creative teaching styles, both Elguero and Melly have seen their students leap two, even three grade levels in a single year. These teachers, every time we see these great results, they're setting ambitious goals based on high expectations for their students. Okay, who can tell me what rhyme is? Stephen Farr, who recruits and trains top-notch college grads for Teach for America, spent 10 years visiting classrooms all over the country, trying to unravel the mystery of what makes a great teacher. Can you tell me examples of how she makes it fun? What he found, and is now sharing in a new book, is that superstar teachers need not have outgoing personalities or master's degrees or loads of teaching experience, but they do share a few things in common. You guys still need tons of help figuring out words that you get stuck on. If you agree, you can show me with your thumb. Great teachers make certain every student's keeping up. One of the things that I do here are a lot of checks for understanding that are super visual. Show me with your thumbs. You can see who's really getting it and who isn't. Today we're going to figure out a bunch of ways, some new ways to figure out words that we don't know. Amazing teachers aren't afraid to change their lesson plans. If I'm teaching something and it's just not flying, then I say to them, my mistake. This isn't working. Let's regroup. Let's try something else. So you do that in front of yeah. the kids? Well, they're fine with that. They're used to that. But this may be the most important discovery of all. We are all going to get so much smarter. Great teachers set high goals, as 11-year-old Brianna Randolph has learned from Miss Elguero. Brianna, what was your reading level when you got here? It was hard for me to read because I didn't understand the chapter books. Her mom, Denise, is now amazed at the difference. When she got here, we learned that Brianna was two levels behind. And today, Brianna is actually almost two and a half levels above what she was when she came in. And it's only February. And so we choose Justin Melly and Marielle Elguero on behalf of all the great teachers who made us believe in ourselves and think of learning as absolute joy. So thanks to all of you. And to those of you who sent in guesses today for our Person of the Week, by the way, go to our website next week for your chance to guess again and win. And we hope snow, no snow, you have a wonderful weekend and that we begin a week together again on